the spokesperson of Atiku Abubakar presidential campaign of the 2023 presidential election under the People Democratic Party, the PDP, Daniel Buala has dumped the PDP. I don't really know if he was actually of the PDP, but he was Atiku Abubakar spokesperson and he spoke on both local and international televisions selling the message of Atiku Abubakar, amplifying his manifesto, telling us how good and how Atiku Abubakar is the best thing that will happen to Nigeria if he's elected as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Atiku Abubakar did not win the election and is just seven months off when Bola Metinibu was inaugurated as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And then Daniel Bola is back to the APC. And he posted it on his Twitter account signifying that he's now as Shiwaju boys. Let's listen to Daniel Bola, what he said and why he's returning back to the APC. Through your visit here today, as a member of the major opposition PDP, right. uh, they've been wondering, are you defecting? I mean, you've been speaking here like in a capacity of an individual uh, citizen. Yeah. Are you in that capacity? Are you defecting to the APC? Or have you defected? Or have you defected? Well, I'm here as a private citizen and uh, who must be bound by the conviction we have towards our country and the need for us to push the country to a better uh, place that we all desire. So I'm not here in the capacity. Of, first of all, I'm not even a leader in the, in the PDP. I'm a private citizen. But you must also admit that I have had my history with Mr. President. When I was in APC, before the primaries, I was practically his key spokesman as at the time. And I supported his cause because I believed in him. And so I use this opportunity today to even touch on some of those past. And I'm very happy that instead of the president getting actually offended, he, he, he gave me some life lesson, you know, about the fact that in life, if you are going to be offended because people took decisions that didn't favor you, you would never be helpful to anybody in life or you can never relate with people. And so that, that, that largeness of the heart to me is encouraging. And uh, I am also here to say I am supporting President Bola Ametinibu in achieving the objective of the problems, the problems we are in the country. I don't think that at this time of hunger and problems in the country, somebody should be here talking about uh, party. And as per defection, God knows tomorrow. But I am fully committed to supporting the cause of President Bola Ametinibu. That has to be made clear. Thank you. Daniel Bola, they give reasons why he is returning back to the APC and uh, whatever that be his reason is his reason but I think we all know the reason why he's going back to the APC because to me these young men do not have political ideology they just go anywhere they, that serve their interest they just go anywhere bare face a day after he, he announced his resignation from the from the APC he granted an interview on Arise TV and he specifically mentioned the reason why he dumped the APC why he's leaving the APC for good and according to him, he's not going back. He's leaving the APC for good because the APC did something he doesn't like. The APC do not serve the interests of Nigeria. The APC do not represent the collectiveness, the, together, the togetherness of Nigeria. Listen to this interview and what he said and the, the reason why he is dumping the APC. No need to ask you what your reaction is to right. that Muslim Muslim ticket because you were clearly incensed by it right. and you resigned from the APC. So my question is, what is it about a Muslim Muslim ticket that you find to be so utterly odious? Even the president advised that this ticket be balanced and there are key members of the party who have maintained the same position and thankfully majority of our muslim brothers so sensing that and maintain the same position so we believe that during this consultation uh, um, yeah period that probably asiwaju is coming to terms with the reality of balancing the ticket so the decision yesterday came to me as a surprise mm. and the reason i resigned is simply because if i stayed in the party i'm going to play a role of a spokesperson these are facts that are important to me and they run to the core of my conviction. Since I don't believe in that, if I take up any role for the party, that means I will find myself advocating what I don't believe well, in. Well, I think a lot of... These are some of the tweets put up by Danny Buala after he left the APC. He said, Today I officially joined official PDP Nigeria for the following reasons. PDP presents a clear vision for One Nigeria. PDP is a party with a realistic chance of defeating APC. 
Atiku is the only candidate with superior experience to lead Nigeria out of the woods. My loyalty to Atiku is 100% win, lose or draw. Anything less is not loyalty. When I was in APC supporting Tinibu, the loyalty was 100%. He respect me for that he did. Buari same. That's how I'm built. Judge me by that. Win, draw, lose. My loyalty is 100% to Atiku Abubakar. That was Daniel Bola after he left the APC to the PDP and he was appointed as the um, official spokesperson of the Atiku Abubakar presidential campaign council given that making that tweet there but just barely seven months in he had, after um, Bola Metinibu was inaugurated as the president of Nigeria he has dumped Atiku Abubakar back to the APC and this makes me to wonder if these young men that are marauding, that are roaming around in the corridors of power, if they really have conviction, if they really have ideology, if they really have self-will, self-will to do what is right for themselves, to stick to their conviction, to stick to an ideology. All they care about is anywhere they left is their self-interest, their personal interest. Yes, Politics is interest, but it has to be to serve the goodwill of the people. How could you just barely months, some few months back, you are elegizing Atiku Abubakar, and you read the, the tweet about what he said about APC. He said so many things about APC. He, he was even among the people that went on national television to talk about the um, criminal case of uh, Ashiwa Jubola Metinibu. He, 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 he berated Kayamo when Kayamo was um, defending Bola Metinibu. Like... He supported the case that Bola Metinibu allegedly was convicted of cocaine. He was also among those that spoke about the alleged um, certificate forgery of Bola Metinibu. And now, he's back in the fold of Bola Metinibu. To do what? The same spokesperson he said he doesn't want to be because of his conviction, because of the Muslim-Muslim ticket. Tinibu is the president, a Muslim. Kashim Sistema is the vice president, a Muslim. It hasn't changed. We still have a Muslim, Muslim leadership. And this same man, last year, that was condemning the Muslim, Muslim ticket, is now back in the fold of the Muslim, Muslim ticket to do what? To speak. Because there is absolutely nothing he's going to be giving more than a spokesperson. He's going to be elogizing the policies, the presidency of Bola Ahmed Tinibu. And you keep asking yourself, is it the kind of young ones that we want to bequeath power to? That is the reason why you see the old folks keep hanging on to power. Because the young people are not ready. They are not ready. Let a young man come out today. Voo, 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 before you know one thing, the old folk will throw crumbs at them. They will catch it up. And that will be the end of their presidential ambition. You, you, you saw Felado Rutoye. 2019 presidential election, he came out that he wanted to challenge the, the, the status quo. But Bola Metinibu was inaugurated as the president of Nigeria. Bola Metinibu appointed him as an aide, a ministerial aide. He accepted it. He was someone that wanted to challenge the status quo. The status quo. But now he's back. This is what Daniel Bwala has done. And this is what you see someone like Femi, Femi Kayode is doing. After everything he said about Bola Metinibu, he came to defend him. During the 2023 presidential election, and look at Reno Omokri, someone that was speaking for Atiku Abubakar, is now becoming a Venezuela, shouting and singing the praise of Bola Metinibu. And you keep asking ourselves if you are heading in the right direction politically. That is why our political terrain is just the same, filled with the same old people who have been on to power for so long, and they are not ready. To, 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 to be created power because the young ones are not ready to grab it. The young ones are not ready to take it. They are not moved by their conviction. They are not moved. They don't even have ideology. No ideology. As long as this is where my interest is being served, they've dumped whatever ideology they have and go for Nigeria, even if that does not serve the many, the, the women of Nigeria. So, where everything that Daniel Bola has said over the months, he has now come back. To his vomit. Thank you for watching. Do have a lovely day.